Previously on Life of Hers. Oh, babe, we haven't been food shopping this week. What are we having for dinner tonight? <sighs> babe, I'm sorry I forgot to tell you. I've got a cell group meeting later. But maybe we could get some Chinese? You have to get serious. Not everyone has had the opportunities you've had and continue to have. Not everyone has had the chances like you. After all, aren't most of your peers doctors or lawyers or married? I'm just not ready for any man to come and define me just so that he can feel comfortable at the expense of my sense of freedom. Like just not now, not with everything that's going on in my life and my career. I'm just not ready. I mean, what we need to do, again, is create a plethora of images, you know, and complicate this single narrative, as it were, and show that we come in all sorts of forms and with all sorts of ideologies. Yeah, for sure, that's important. But equally, sometimes you want to get your dance on, and she offers up music for us to get our dance on. And that's, that's it, really. You want to celebrate, you want to dance, you want to be in a space where you and your girls can just rock out, and she provides that voice, in a sense. And then when we're thinking about responsibility, we can't really overestimate um, the impact that she has, fair enough, but equally, it's our responsibility to Oh, Cassandra, hey! Hey, Kayima. It's good to see you. Who let you in? Oh, I spotted Nama on the drive, so I picked her up and we came in together. All right, okay. Oh, wow, it's late. You should have called to tell me you're still coming. My room is a mess. Girl, your room is always a mess. <laughs> that is very true. So what's up? Okay. How come you weren't gonna come? Hakima, I'm sick of that house, I'm telling you. Why, what's wrong? Did your brother come home? Me, the, oh, no, 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 thank goodness. No, it was my dad. Your dad? Yeah, today he was like, Lara, come and work for me. Lara, what are you doing with your life? Lara, you should be thankful I haven't sold you to the highest bidding suitor. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, the worst thing is, I think he's partially right. I don't know what to do with myself, Kaima. I don't have any plans or goals like you guys do. And it's not as if I can marry rich like my cousins. You, marry rich? Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? You could easily find yourself one of those rich Niger bachelors that frequent your parents' parties, but as soon as he realises that you are not for Niger patriarchy, I assure you he will return you to your village and demand a refund on your bride price. Right, my dad's friends would be like, you see how Western feminism spoils our women. But seriously, sis, I need to do something. I'm acutely aware of my increasing age. The careerless travel thing is not cute past a certain age. Cassandra, you're still young. I find it so annoying how our generation is given everything, myriad options, but then we're expected to have life all figured out by the age of 14. And if we don't, then we're obviously lost. It's a joke. Okay, that's you and your ideals and your theory, but look at you holding a vow. You guys seem to have done all right figuring out your life plans. Yeah, and that's all we ever think about. It's as if we're in bondage to these dreams, which, let's be real about it, may never materialise. We're always thinking about the future, what we're doing tomorrow, next week, next decade. At least you live in the present. None of us have travelled like you. Enjoyed just existing and experiencing life like you. Don't beat yourself up about it. I know your dad's being harsh right now, but he's your father, he's just concerned. I know, and Kaima, my parents are wonderful. They're patient, they're kind, they're generous and they're loving. It's just that when they talk about this stuff, it pushes me into this corner because I have no defence, no response, no explanation. I can't say I like to do this because I have no this I like to do. I can't complain that they're not supporting me because I have nothing going on for them to support. You know, I travel and I love it and I'm grateful to visit all this country. What do I have to show for it? You know, you can't put world traveller daughter of a wealthy Nigerian businessman on your CV. No, but you can put experience of working with different cultures, experience of teaching in Europe and Africa, multilingual. And you, you are too kind. You and my parents are my enablers. I blame you guys for why I'm so desultory. Oh, desultory. Good word. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I leave for the Gambia in like two weeks and I have no clue what I'm doing there. Well, maybe you can use that time to find out what you might want to do when you get back. Yeah, I guess. Look, Cassandra, finding out what you want to do and who you want to be is a process for many people. And in that search, you have to learn how to love who you are right now. 
You are one of the sweetest, loveliest, most gentle people I know. But if you're not sweet and lovely and gentle with yourself, then what good is it? I tell you all the time you're brilliant. Not potentially, you are brilliant now. And brave with what you have to deal with every day. It's now just a matter of finding what you might want to channel some of that brilliance and courage into, even if it's not for the rest of your life. You have to start somewhere. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I know. Anyway, I've been talking about me since I walked through the door. How was your day? Yeah, it was good. I finished off one of my short stories this afternoon. So now it's just a matter of proofreading and then submitting it for competitions. And then I can finish off these paintings of mine and hopefully sell them off. Mm, that's amazing. I can proofread it for you if you like. I'd appreciate that, thank you. Oh, and I read your latest blog about millennials. Very poetic. Thank you. <laughs> just love this. I can't wait to finish it. Yeah, that's my favourite one too. It's so frustrating that I haven't been able to complete it. I keep getting distracted with writing projects and competition deadlines and... Twitter and Instagram. Actually, Miss, I hate everything social media. Twitter, Instagram and my blog are purely for promotional purposes. You know this already. So what's Facebook for then? Oh. My Facebook is just for creeping up on my exes, you know? You're not even serious. This is why I'll never join any of those stupid social networks because of crazy people like you. <laughs> anyway. I forgot I primarily wasn't here to talk about my life crisis or Facebook stalking. It was to discuss your big day. Oh yeah, the imminent 25th birthday. Look, I really don't want to talk about it right now, Cass. Too late. I forgot to stay on my way here. I texted Holden and Valentine to come over. Cassandra! My bad. Holden says she'll be here in like an hour and I haven't heard back from Valentine yet. Oh great, how exciting. Maybe we should cook. Sounds good. Consider all this in my heart, so that I can declare it all, that the righteous and the wise with their works are of the hand of God. Amen. 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 So ladies, I think that'll be it for this week. We'd better start packing up before the caretaker kicks us out. Have a great week, guys. I really needed that word. Work's been so hard today. Really? I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, no, 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 nothing bad. Everything worked out. It was just without stress. You know the saying, without struggle there's no progress. Very true. Speaking of progress, how's your book? Oh, it's going great by the grace of God. Thank you so much for asking. Writing about how the unmarried woman could be more spirit-led is no easy task. I can imagine. Actually, Valentine, this is something I wanted to discuss with you. Your book? No, 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 not the book. Do you have a few minutes? Um, well, I actually have to be... Oh, it's fine. Yes. What's up, Sister Monroe? This book, the deadline for the first draft is coming up soon. So I need to take time out of leading the cell group and some of my other activities in the church. So, I wanted to talk to you about taking over from me for the next month or so and leading the cell group. Lead? I know, it's a big job. But you've been coming for a while now and I can see in your heart your passion for God and the things you contribute during the sessions. I know you'd be perfect for the role. I know I can trust you to do this. Sister Monroe, I really don't think I'm the right person for this. What about Nicole? Nicole? <laughs> Nicole is a lovely girl, but she hates speaking publicly. You know how shy she gets. Anyaka. Have you been on that girl's Instagram? <laughs> she needs to remain an attendee for now because God's still doing his work in her. Sister Monroe, I really don't think I'm the right person for this. Go home and pray about it. Well, what, what are the topics are we discussing during those weeks? Pastor would like to curse to cover fornication and lust. Fornication and lust. I know. 
Yes, I know. We've been through it before. The pastor's been praying, and he said that God's been laying on his spirit that the young people of this church need to be reminded of those temptations. Right. But don't worry. I have the notes and the scriptures and the meeting plan. The meeting runs in parallel with the young men's group, so if you need any extra support, you can reach out to Reginald, my counterpart for the young men's. Okay? Pray about it. And if God says no, then come back and tell me. Okay? I need to rush off now, and I'll send you the notes via email. Thank you so much for doing this. When I got the email to say that it had been accepted, I almost fell to my knees. That's amazing. Yes, well done. I remember reading it before you submitted. The article was so well researched and absolutely necessary. Oh, thanks guys. And oh my God, Joseph took me out to dinner. Nice. How is he? Yeah, he's fine. Started talking about what are we or whatever. Anyway, I just want to bask in my own glory right now, you know? Like, what other British female Somali doctor do you know that's had their paper published in a major medical journal? Uh, none. I can tell you that for free. Oh my gosh, you wasn't joking about basking in your own glory, were you? <laughs> Sorry guys, it's just like, at work, no one's happy for you. At home, no one understands. And then Joseph, he just wants to make it all about him. Oh no, no, all about us. And it's like, I haven't got anyone else to share my joy with except you guys. Well, express it all you like. I'm proud of you. Oh my god, my consultant wants me to do a presentation on my research. Wow. That's amazing, he just emailed you. Yeah, but it looks like I've only got a couple of weeks. Oh my god. That's amazing. Oh my god, I need to start thinking about structure. Hey, hey, and... hey. Happy hey, 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 time. time. I'm so sorry I'm late. I had church after work. So someone wrote, asked me to leave the cell group while she's gone. What? I know. We'll talk about it later. Anyway, I think it's God telling me that I need to let Louis move out. What? Anyway, it's not even about me. Birthday planning. Okay, what's happened? Fill me in. We haven't got very far. We're still celebrating hold and achievement. Oh, yes. Congratulations. This is the first of many publications. Okay, so I'm not complaining, but you guys know how I feel about birthdays, and now you're all here trying to make a fuss. Let's ignore her. Okay, now that I'm here, let's get to work. Yes. Exactly. Okay? Yeah, why? Okay. Why is she asking you to take Because she's going else? to take a break. A break, a holiday. No, she's writing a book, okay, on sex and fornication. Ooh, what? Yeah, I know. So, okay, Ma. Mm -hmm. We need to find you a man. I know a great guy at church, Brother Stephen. Mm. Who? <laughs> I, I don't know no. about that one, V. Oh, fine, fine. <laughs> to be honest, I don't even know if I'm ready for a relationship. I mean, I don't know what I'm looking for. What is, what's the ideal type of man? Tall. Good looking okay. and a warrior, you know what I mean? That he can like handle his own. <laughs> There's like, there is nothing sexy when you're like going out to a club or whatever. And then there's this like altercation with you and some other bloke, he's like trying it on with you. And then your man's like, look, I'm gonna take care of this, you know? Just kind of like move him to one side. <laughs> I think that's sexy, I don't think I'm to one side. Yeah, just move him to one side. I'm just like, look, okay. This is my girl. Just go, leave. Like, go, stop it. Whatever. Just get out of here. No. <laughs> this is a little bit tricky. I'll, I'll meet you downstairs. I've got to go. Yeah, okay. Go. 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 Anyway, I have to go. I purposely forgot to tell Louis that I was coming over here after church. Okay, okay so that's me and Louis getting drinks. Okay, mm -hmm. Hodan's going to get the decorations. Catering. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to call you later for some makeup. Mm, don't look at me like that, though. <laughs> okay. I have to give Hodan a lift home as well. So I'll see you guys later, yeah? All right. Okay. See you. Bye. 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 Anyway, thanks for listening to me today and giving me advice and encouragement as usual. Don't worry about it. Cool. So I'm here. Give me a hug. Bye. See ya. See ya. Sorry I'm late. Did 
Did you get my paper? Yes, in the fridge. Anyway, I had the most interesting day today. Can I talk to you about something? Yeah, what's up? You know my cell group leader, Sister Monroe? Nope. Anyway, she's taking a break from leading cell, and guess who she asked to take over for her? Who did she ask to take over? Me! What? Yeah, she thinks I'll be really good at it. She asked you to take over? Yeah. Okay, what do you discuss in these meetings? Well, we discuss prayer, our relationship with God, the Bible. Do you talk about our relationship? <laughs> what? No, of course not. Don't be silly. Did she know that we live together? No, why would I tell her that? And that we have sex as well. <sighs> Luik. Do you have sex? Don't be so vulgar, Luik. I'm just asking you. I don't see why you just can't be honest with yourself. I'm not meant to be hidden, am I? I don't understand where this is coming from. I'm not hiding you. I think you are, to be honest. Because you can do this with me now, that when you go to church and stuff, it's something totally different, and I don't exist at all. It's not like that. You don't understand. It's, it's deeper than that. It's deeper than that. Yeah, I'm sure it's really deep. I just don't understand how deep it could be when we love each other. Yeah? Mm -hmm. We live together. Yeah. We have a sexually fulfilling relationship. Do we or do we not? Yes. I don't know. I don't know why you're trying to keep up this charade. Like, what's it? What is this about? Am I your dirty little secret? No, you're not my dirty little secret. Then what am I then? What are we then? Do you love me? Of course I do. I, I love you too. So why don't you just be honest with us? My phone's ringing. No, leave your phone alone. We're talking. I just, I'll just We're talk talking right is. now. So leave your phone alone. Just one second. No, it's my dad. Leave it alone. We're not. No, we're not doing it. that. Leave your phone, listen. Hello? Bonjour, Papa. Oui, ça va, OK? Luik? Yeah, he's here, he says hi. No, 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 I'm here. Yeah. Next on Life of Hers. The way I see it, Joseph has made a decision to love you despite you stalling for a year. <sighs> Hold on. Call him. Okay. Try your relationship. If it doesn't work, then fine. Yeah. Cass, what is there to celebrate? By 25, I thought I would be married with my own art curation business. <sighs> flying around the world giving talks about how I made my first million, going back to Nigeria twice a year to do charity work. But look at me. I haven't left the UK, no wait, London, in the past five years. I mean, what guy would be cool that he really gets to spend time with his woman because she's always at church? His woman? OK, clearly you've gone mad. Don't walk out on me. I want you to know that I really do care about you. These past few days of you ignoring me have been absolute torture. Torture? Torture because you want me in your life? Or torture because you feel guilty? 